If you haven't already seen my previous videos, to me I would rate this 5 star fine dining. For my main course, I had salmon over spinach risotto. I also had appetizer, which was scallops, smoked salmon, and some tuna tartare. I love this candlelight. Of course, it's patterized. The salmon came with some julienne veg. There's the tuna tartare. It was so delicious. Every minute on this plane was happy hour. There's me with my whiskey sour. I also had their pink gin. The rice was boiled in beetroot. That's how it got its pink color. Not to mention my freshly squeezed orange juice when I boarded the plane. No sugar added. And if I wasn't full already, the grand finale was my cheese platter with wine pairing. I had the port, I had dessert wine, and oh my goodness, I am just so completely satisfied. Oh, and did I mention, if you are flying with Qatar Airways on their Q-Suite, you will absolutely love their dine-on-demand experience. In my case, I was <laughs> eating since the time I boarded the plane, which was 10, half 10 p.m., all the way until almost 2 a.m. in the morning. Dine on Demand, I absolutely love that because they'll set your table with just everything that you'll have at a normal fine dining restaurant. The service is exceptional, you can enjoy eating and drinking for as long as you want. So every time I travel, I always have this protective kit. And the thing is, a lot of the items inside you're supposed to already have with you when you travel. Like for example, this pack contains three items. The first item, you have the mask, and then you have the sanitizer, which I already have, mask and sanitizer. And then you have gloves inside, which is really just thin plastic gloves. So realistically, if I can save on plastic, I really don't need to open this. So I'm not going to be opening this, and I do hope that maybe someone else could use it or if everyone has a mask and sanitizer hopefully these items don't get loose because there's quite a lot of you know, plastic already so having said that I'm so ready to take a nap Where I'm from, it's way too hot to be wearing pajamas. Not unless the AC is on. But check this out. Qatar Airways offers you pajamas in size small, medium, and large. So this is from the White Company in London. But believe it or not, I actually saw this when I was in Edinburgh in Scotland. So this is what the store looks like. I'm going to flash it on the screen. So I found the company that makes the pajamas that we use in the Qatar Airlines. Um, it's called the White Company. Let's try to decide hack it, but yeah, I've actually never heard of that company before, but yeah, I quite like the pajamas that they make. <laughs> I'm gonna try on what's inside, but also let's have the bed ready for sleepy time. I made a video on how it looks like when Qatar Airways makes your bed as if you were in a hotel. They put the proper bed sheets, a duvet, they set up the blanket. All you have to do is push that button once, you don't have to press it and it's just Go check that video out, it's only a minute long and you'll see how it looks like. But now, I couldn't be bothered with all the eating and drinking, I was just so ready to doze. Just trying to fix the angle of the camera here so you can better see. Well, that was quick. That was like a matter of 20 seconds or maybe 10 seconds. I already have a bed. Just wanted to show you all the outlets where you can charge your gadgets. I personally bring loads of gadgets with me, so those are very useful. But check this out. I actually just discovered this switch. It's got a symbol of like a sun and apparently it can light your feet, which I find pretty cool. Pretty nice that you can also have light for your feet. And over to my right, there's actually another switch here. I really don't know what it's doing, but Anyway, let's go get dressed. Let's see what this looks like. So the fabric feels very soft. Uh, I did read the label. This is not 100% cotton. It does have a lot of polyester in it, but it feels good. Now let's try on the pants or the bottoms or the pajamas, whatever you want to call it. Definitely. 
definitely not my first choice of color. But I suppose if you're getting ready for bed, you don't want something too colorful or too loud. So this is supposed to be on the neutral side and it's going to help you to perhaps get better sleep. Maybe that's the reason why they chose color gray. now it must have been past 2 30 in the morning so this is where i'm staying 1k this is the seat closest to the pilot and it's the first in the plane and i absolutely love this seat because to me i feel like there is the least turbulence just press once and the bed just does its own magic Thank you so much for joining me by now it was around 3 a.m so stay tuned because i'll be landing in doha and my final destination will be manila in the philippines good night unfortunately the flight from doha to manila won't be the q suite anymore nevertheless i hope you enjoyed this video